<laughs> okay, so here is my attempt at making mug lice, uh, the DIY version of it. I mixed some up yesterday. I've used a uh, two-part epoxy marine weld and I've also put into that some tungsten disulfide and some fine bronze powder. Uh, so it wasn't an exact recipe. Um, it appeared to work quite well and I thought what I would do, I would I wanted to cast, what, I, what I, the goal of it was, to see if I can build up some warm ways on the lathe, uh, which is what it's used for. Uh, so I wanted to know whether it would stick to cast iron, and how, how well it would stick, because I didn't really want to go through and start burring it up like it shows in some of the videos to get a good key, because um, it would just go into more into the warm if I, if I eventually did get it reground I suppose that would take it out. So I wanted to see how well it would stick to the cast iron. So I had a piece of cast iron here and I'd started to make it into a straight edge. Um, I'd cut all the marks off where it had been sawn, um, probably on the bandsaw. Uh, I'd smoothed it down quite a bit um, but it still had a, a bit of a, a gap in the centre. So I thought I'll try the mog lice in it, put it on my surface plate. Um, so I put some ACF to, to stop it bonding, put some ACF 50, sprayed it with a coat of that, and then mixed the mold ice up, stuck it down onto the, onto the piece of cast iron and left it overnight. And then today when I came back, um, it took a bit of force to get it off actually, I had to knock it off with the mallet and as you can see how well it stuck to the cast iron stuck really well to the cast iron and it's also stuck quite well through the grease uh. to the surface plate so at least it sticks to the cast iron and we've got a, a nice marble plinth for the garden <laughs> 